Today we're measuring a bore using our RS4 scanner. The bore we're going to measure is a setting ring of 10 millimeters in diameter. And we're using our RS4 scanner, which is able to measure bores down to the micron. And uh, it consists of four axes, the X, Y, Z, and the rotation axis in the front, which makes the probe rotate inside the bore. And over here we have the micro cam and the motion controller and the PC. The first step is to position the probe in front of the bore using the joystick, controlling the four axes. So one is moving towards the bore, the other two are positioning the probe at the right vicinity and latitude. Next, we're looking for the starting point of the bore by moving the probe in. When I see the light at the beginning of the bore, I press the trigger button. Then I move in, press the trigger button again, and press the enter button on the top of the joystick. We have that information, which is consisting of the Z start position, and Z end position. On the mode field, we have the options of uh, scanning the hole in um, different motion patterns. We will pick the spiral pattern, which is the most efficient one because as it goes into the bore, it simultaneously rotates and thereby produces a spiral point cloud. At the same time, the software prompts us also for the speed at which it will rotate, um, which we will accept uh, the value that is proposed by the software. But we will also look at the options that we have with um, processing. By double-clicking the options field and clicking the process option button, we get the choices of um, number of processing operations and in this case we will pick uh, the cylinder analysis which will then uh, show us the deviations from a cylinder. And now we're gonna press start which will start the scanning. The scanner always starts from its home position, moves to the first position that was marked with the joystick and then moves on to until the end po position that was marked with the joystick again. It always retracts at the end and the software moves on to processing that data. Polyworks is brought up as a processing software and deviations are shown on the screen.